Coming up, St. Mary's graduation is upon us. Find out how seniors are preparing for this special day. And we visit the Career Crossings office and take a look at how St. Mary's is preparing students for their futures. Plus, highlights from the annual St. Mary's Dance Ensemble performance. All this and more on today's SMC TV News. Hello and welcome to SMC TV News. I'm Mariana Taski and I'm Becca Jones. Here are today's top stories. For the millions of Americans affected by Alzheimer's, an experimental medication is offering new hope. In a large clinical trial, participants receive the medicine donanumab by infusion once a month. According to the drug maker, the medicine slowed declines in patients' ability to think clearly and perform daily tasks by more than a third. The drug works by removing plaque buildups in the brain, known as amyloid, that are a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. There were some side effects of this drug reported. Out of 1,700 patients who took part in the trial over 18 months, three died. Two of the deaths were attributed to adverse events, such as brain swelling or microhemorrhages. The drug maker plans to file for FDA approval by the end of June. Hollywood writers are officially on strike. Television production is on halt until the writer's demands are met, which includes a higher wage. When you're working, you do get paid well, but that money needs to carry you through the lean years. This is the first walkout in more than 15 years. The Writers Guild of America Board of Directors voted to strike as writers are facing an existential crisis. As spring semester comes to a close, I sat down with members of this year's senior class to see how they're preparing for their big day. As spring semester comes to an end, students across the tri-campus are preparing for finals and wrapping up their academic years. Amidst the stress of exams and final projects, the class of 2023 has another thing to worry about, graduation. Seniors have a pretty packed schedule the next few weeks with senior week following exam week. Senior week includes many events, such as the brunch with alumni on Monday, a trip to a winery on Tuesday, and a formal on Thursday. I'm excited for like all of the events. I'm really excited for the winery. I'm really excited for the Traditions Day. I know it's going to be really sad, but I'm really looking forward to just like one last moment with everybody. So. I am so glad that we have our senior week to be able to really enjoy being around the people that we have loved for these past four years, um, especially with all of the chaos with senior comps and everything like that. So I, I'm getting sad to see that it's coming to an end, but I'm excited. For many seniors, graduation also means reflecting on what they're going to miss about their time at St. Mary's. I definitely am going to miss the people, um, the supportive community that we have, and the professors that really do care about us. Oh, I will probably miss just the environment of everybody, the community of St. Mary's. I'm sure everybody says that, but it's so true. Um, everybody is so one of a kind, so special, and everybody wants you to succeed in life. So just being surrounded in that environment really like empowers you, makes you a better person. Graduation will be Saturday, May 20th in front of Lamont Hall at noon. For SMC TV, this is Becca Jones. Recently, the St. Mary's College Dance Ensemble Workshop held their annual dance arts performance. Callie Jungles was there to catch the show. Just beyond these doors, audiences had the opportunity to see the St. Mary's Dance Ensemble Workshop put on a performance that has been a year in the making. This year's concert theme was centered around wholeheartedness. I had the pleasure to sit down with senior dancer Jaden Daher to learn about her feelings towards preparing for her last dance ensemble performance. Our theme is wholehearted artists. So it's something that we were showing what we believe in wholeheartedly. So part of that is like, we were asked what individually, what we believe in wholeheartedly. And one of the performances, we all created it separately based on what we believe in. So like mine was beautiful connection. Putting together an hour show does not come easy. Jaden informed me that her and the other dance minors have been preparing for this show for the past year. Jaden said that all the late hours rehearsing are worth it though. Potentially my last dance performance ever. I think that makes it even more special. To 
Despite the beauty of the performance, Jaden informed me that it definitely did not come without its hiccups. Some of the costumes we question and like sometimes we get frustrated with the lighting, but at the end of the day, we're all in it together and we're all doing what we love. We're all wholeheartedly doing what we love and that's dancing. Tonight's show was a success and I had the opportunity to sit down with members of the audience to gauge how they reacted to tonight's performance. I think my favorite dance was the Ode to St. Mary's. I like the, the music was nice and the dancing was wonderful. My favorite part of the production was probably when Jaden came out in her gesture costume. My favorite dance was their dancing and the water sounds trickling. If you're a St. Mary's student and would like to take part in next year's dance ensemble workshop, make sure to enroll for Dance 243 in the fall. And if you missed this year's ensemble, head to the St. Mary's website where you can watch a recording of Saturday's performance. This is Callie Jungles from SMC News. Back to Becca and Mariana in the studio. Thank you, Callie. Next, Mariana takes us to a valuable resource on St. Mary's College campus, the Career Crossings Office. As this school year comes to an end, how are graduates able to prepare for the workforce? The Career Crossings Office of St. Mary's College is a crucial resource for students looking to transition from education to employment. As the job market becomes increasingly competitive, it's more important than ever for students to have access to the tools and support they need to succeed in their chosen career paths. And the Career Crossings Office is dedicated to providing just that, offering a wide range of services and programs that help students connect with potential employers and build their skills. We help with their resumes, cover letters, interview prep, job search strategies, networking, making connections. And then we also offer lunch and learns, as well as um, actually doing uh, programming workshops specific for things like LinkedIn, uh, mock interviews, things like that. The Career Crossings Office is empowering students to achieve their professional goals and launch successful careers. It is evident that the office plays a critical role in the success of students at the college. This year we have a recent grad who or a soon to be grad that will be working for Tesla. We've had students that have um, done internships with IBM, Google, Facebook. The Career Crossings Office maintains connections with employers such as these to assist students in securing employment within their desired fields. We connect with alum. Uh, alum are our greatest resource. Um, they actually look forward to hiring other Bells. The Career Crossings Office is empowering students to achieve their professional goals and launch successful careers. It is evident that the office plays a critical role in the success of the students at the college. It is a true testament to the college's dedication and commitment to its students' success. It's actually very fulfilling for me to hear students that, hey, I got this internship or, hey, I got this job. For anyone looking to achieve their career goals, the Career Crossings Office at St. Mary's College is undoubtedly a valuable source that should not be overlooked. I'm Mariana Tasky for SMC TV News. Well, finally, after some recent cool temperatures, good news is on the way. That's right. Callie Jungles is in our weather center. Callie, tell us what we can expect this week. Don't toss your jackets quite yet, because we have a bit of rain coming our way. However, luckily for us, temperatures will remain mild. Wednesday, we'll have scattered showers with a high of 69. Thursday and Friday will be partly cloudy, each with a high of 68. Moving into the weekend, there will be a chance of rain Saturday with a high of 72. Sunday will be cooler with a high of 65, also with a chance of showers. It looks like it will be another week before temperatures start to warm up in the 70s. Thanks, Callie. St. Mary's College and Notre Dame are both known for their strong athletic programs and their team's achievements on the field, court, and track. From football and basketball to soccer and volleyball, there was always something exciting happening in the world of St. Mary's and Notre Dame sports. Anna Mason brings us the latest news. The St. Mary's softball team has had a tough season with a record of 9-23. On May 3rd, the team had their senior night and dominated the Olivet in the doubleheader with two games ending in the Mercy Roll. The Bells won 16-0 and 17-2. Across the street at Notre Dame, baseball has had a great season with a record of 26-17. The Irish defeated North Carolina State at home on May 4th, 9-7. Catcher Vinny Martinez hit a home run in the bottom of the eighth, bringing two men home, putting the Irish ahead for the 9-7 victory against the Wolfpack. 
Back at St. Mary's, the lacrosse team is finishing out their season strong with a record of 12 to 6. The team has made their way to the MIAA tournament, defeated Alma in the semifinals with a score of 16 to 3, sending them to the championship on Saturday, May 6th. I sat down with senior lacrosse player Molly Mullet to discuss how she was feeling about senior night and her last season with the Bells. I've been playing for 12 years now. Um, for senior night, usually the underclassmen dec decorate the locker room, so they're doing that right now, which is why I've been kicked out. Um, and then before the game, we do a little, like, I guess you could call it a ceremony. All the seniors line up with their parents underneath the press box, and then we walk towards the fans as, as they announce, like, name, major, things like that, just about us as seniors. Um, my favorite memory was definitely my sophomore year. It was, like, peak COVID when we had to be, like, testing every day, and we ended up winning regular season for the MIAA conference, and then we ended up winning tournament and going to the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history. You always miss like those who came before you and those who like made program history with you. So, um, advice I would give would be enjoy every game, find joy in every game because no matter how hard, no matter how how, how hard the win or the loss is, um, you play because you love the sport, especially in D three athletics. So. On Wednesday, the Bells went to the MIAA tournament semifinals and defeated Elma 16-13 with six goals scored by Molly Mullet. This makes the Bells record 12-6 and six, and they are returning to the tournament championship on Saturday versus Hope. Um, I think lacrosse will always be a part of my life, no matter how big or how small, but I'm going to pilot training for the Air Force after graduation, so a little different, but I'm hoping to find, I actually want to ref, so I'm hoping to get certified as a referee and then keep it in my life just as something so I can always be involved in the community. Thanks again to Molly for sitting down with me to discuss the season. Before we go, I had the opportunity to attend the Kentucky Derby this weekend. The Kentucky Derby is one of the most watched sporting events every year, with people from all over the world dressing to the nines to visit Louisville, Kentucky for the race. Some traditions of the Kentucky Derby include the drinking of mint juleps, wearing ornate hats, as well as the infield partying that takes place in the middle of the race. With many bets placed around the world, all eyes are on the horses for this one and a quarter mile race. For two minutes Saturday, Mage showed there's still some magic left in sport facing so much uncertainty. Mage and his jockey, Javier Castellano, rallied from the back of the pack, went six wide off the final turn, and rallied past two fills down the stretch to win Saturday's Kentucky Derby by a length. A crowd of 150,000 people and more at Churchill Downs saw a pair of Venezuelans, trainer Gustavo Delgado and jockey Javier Castellano, win their first Kentucky Derby. And for Javier Castellano, the Hall of That's all for sports, back to the Anchor Desk. Thanks for joining us on today's SMC TV newscast. I'm Mariana Tasky. And I'm Becca Jones. Have a great day.